Hello everybody, my name is Danny and um, for those of you who don't know me, um, I live in Eastern Canada and um, I do all types of videos, all types of YouTube videos. Um, today I'll be doing kind of, um, I guess you would kind of call it um, a video vlog or video log, vlog, vlog. I'm going to sort of try to mix it up a little bit to try to make things um, a little more interesting than a typical um, video vlog. And, um, okay, so I just made a list of things um, that I want to talk about so I can have a somewhat of an organized um, video. Um, just wanted to timestamp this video. So today is, today is... Monday, September 24, 2018. It's, it's, 4, it's 4.29 p.m. here. Okay, um, yeah. So, um, the first thing that I want to do is, um, I was at, um, I was, I was just at um, a convenience, I was just at a convenience store, and I, um, I noticed this, um, see it's labeled here as, um, it's labeled here as a, uh, a Starbucks Frappuccino. Now obviously a Frappuccino anywhere is um, a, a, di a very distinct type of coffee, right? Uh, so a normal type of coffee, which is obviously warm and that type of thing. Um, but here they've decided to um, make a, a bottled version of it and um, so here the flavor is it's called mocha or mocha, mocha. and uh, yeah and at the convenience store that I bought it at it was actually five dollars so in my opinion that's a that's a little that's quite expensive um, and so I'm just gonna do a little bit of a, a little taste test and a little review of it so, um, yeah, it's just kind of weird to, um, to be, um, um, drinking like a, a bottled version of, of, of something, right? And so, um, yeah, so in, in the convenience store, it was, it was in their, 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 their fridge. So I brought it home and sold in the fridge. So it's, it's going to be a cold drink. So it's kind of weird, right? Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a little taste test here. This is my first time I've ever, um, um, drinking, um, a Starbucks Frappuccino, which is in, a, in, in a bottle, which is cold, right? So let's do this. Do a little shake. Hmm, that's really interesting. Might as well tear up all this, make it easier to drink. Okay. Hmm, I like it. It's quite good. Yeah, it's, well, the first thing that I noticed, it had a really, it had that smell, it had, it had a nice smell, like that coffee type of smell, not too strong, but that's the first thing I noticed when I just opened the bottle, and the taste of it too, it's kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe it, it's kind of like, um, it's, it's it, it, you know, people think, oh, well, it's just chocolate milk, but it's like, it's not really like chocolate milk. It's like, it's, it doesn't have like the thickness of a chocolate milk. So it's still kind of like thin, watery, not too watery. And it's still got that like coffee sort of taste. Um, 
I like it because it doesn't. It's not too sugary. I don't like drinks that are too sugary, and um, yeah, it's got like. I think they they they're trying to keep it to the Starbucks brand as close as possible. Because when you think of a, these bottled drinks, you think of something that's been processed and, and factorized so many times, but it's it still um, has that authentic coffee Starbucks sort of taste. So. Um, I recommend it out of a, maybe out of 10, I would give it maybe, um, maybe a seven, seven out of 10, let's say. Okay. So, um, the first thing that I wanted to do is, um, okay. Um, Many people who, who watch my videos know that a little bit about my life. So I organize um, a soccer group. Um, a lot of the, a lot of what we do is we we play games, and it's kind of like pick up soccer. Um, just wanted to do a little update on that. Um, yeah, because um, yesterday, which was Sunday, um, we had a game. And it was just really weird because, um, like, a lot of the times, um, the field that we play in isn't isn't too busy. Um, but um, it was just really weird because um, there's this there's this so there's this big soccer pickup group that's always there every Sunday at two p.m. And so they weren't there, and so we thought, oh well, you know we'll take just we'll just take the um the bigger field and then um someone told us and later on they came they, they changed it from 2 p.m to 3 p.m and so they're a big group and so one of them one of the or their organizers came up to me and kind of well he was kind of polite about it but then he kind of asked for us to go to the um, smaller field which is I, it's it's not it's not an as nice field, and so um, I talked about it to some pe people in our group, and then um, um, we decided to just to be nice because we knew that they they had enough players for the for the big field, and our group is a little smaller, so we ended up taking the smaller field. And it's weird because um, there's another big soccer group that's also been there lately, and they tend to be there uh, on weekends on weekends at around 4 p.m ish and it's not that bad because if when we usually start at two so when they come at four we're kind of done right because like two hours is, is usually enough but because this the the other group switched it from two to three they only started maybe at 3 15 3 30 and then the next group came at their usual 4 p.m. Actually, I think they came a little earlier. So it was really awkward because um, the first group was playing for not even an hour. And then you had this huge group that was just waiting for them um, after, like I said, after they had only been playing for not even an hour. So it's just really weird in, in that situation where you're playing in that situation and you you have like these a huge number of players just staring at you, like standing at the start sideline, just waiting for you to finish, right? And um, so they had to sort of play like that with people just standing there waiting for them for like probably over an hour. So that was really awkward. And even when we took the um, smaller field, as soon as we were done, there was another group, another different group that took um, that, that took the smaller field right after us. So, um, yeah, it's just, um, um, things are getting crazy, right? It's, it's a, it's a, it, it's, it's a combination of a, diff, a lot of different things in my opinion, right? Um, the, um, the mine, the, the, the mine field, um, mine only has one soccer field on the whole campus, believe it or not. And it's not that good. And they're asking people 
to book it now. Um, and a lot of people just don't want to bother with that because you only have maybe about 50 minutes and if, you're, if you have people in your group who are not students, then they have to pay like 615 for 50 minutes and stuff and people don't want to bother with that. And so they're going to the, the, the field that we go to because it's the next closest field, right? And then everyone is doing that and now you have just too many players and it's just too chaotic, right? And it's just like, there aren't really that many soccer fields in this area. Um, even a big difference is, is there was, there were two soccer fields at Wishing Well Park and they decided to make one of those fields into an, I'll just call it American football, um, which is like, you know, football that's played on the NFL and stuff. And so they, they, they transitioned that whole soccer field into an American football field, right? Which is kind of stupid um, because there are not that many soccer fields at all. And um, um, I don't agree with it because, like I said, there's there aren't that many soccer fields in this area to begin with. And the other thing, too, is that, you know... Um, I'm a sports person. I love all sports, but um, it makes no sense to me because um, American football, like I, football, like traditional football, um, which is, it doesn't have to be American, but I'll just call it that. But that sport is really on a decline now um, because of the research that the scientists are doing with all the new technology and stuff in, in 2018 and stuff. They're, they're, they're finding like so much evidence of um, um, concussion, post-concussion syndrome. Um, there's that, um, uh, it's a, there's a disease that's named for it, you know, that was, um, they found in players like Aaron Hernandez and stuff like that, that leads to all sorts of, not only physical problems, but psychological problems like depression and suicide suicidal tendencies and stuff like that so like even in the states it's 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 a it's a it's a sport that's really on the, the decline and the thing is is that um in, in 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 those places communities where like american football is deeply rooted like it's very hard for for someone even if they have the evidence to say to just come over and say let's stop this let's stop this american football altogether because um, it's just too rooted into the tradition of the, of the community, right? And, and that's okay. Um, however, like in Newfoundland, um, American football has really always never really been here. And somehow it, someone's just decided to start it up just a few years ago, right? Just from point blank, right? So, I don't think that that was a really good idea, right? Because, um, because all, all the health problems that I just mentioned and, and stuff like that, and it's a sport that's on the decline, right? So I don't understand, understand where, like, I mean, where there's no, like, tradition or deep rooted sort of um, addictive sort of dependency on an old sort of culture and it's, it's never been here. So like, if the sport was not here, why, why start it now, right? And so, um, you know, not only does it lead to all those health problems, there's lots of like behavioral problems, you know, with, you know, alcohol and drugs and things like assault and sexual assault and, and it goes on and on, right? And even that community like even where that they transition that 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 football field, right? That's really like right in the middle, kind of like of a a neighborhood, like a suburb, right? And and when that gets popular, you know, whether it's Friday nights or whatever, you're gonna have people that are gonna be like littering, you know, whether it's beer bottles or just food wrappings and stuff. Like it's just. A terrible place for it right 
I mean, if they were to do it, I could see them like having to kind of get get their own, right? So or have to work for it on their own, right? So what they did was they got the city to pay for everything, right? Taxpayer dollars, right? And so, um, like, sure, okay, so they're, they're getting the city to pay for all of it. But now they have, um, so, they, so they decided to put it right in the middle of a suburb, like I said. Like, I don't know how fair that is for all the people who are living sort of in that area to have to put up with all of the noise and like I said, the litter and, 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 and the, that kind of, that kind of craziness, right? It's like, they should have like had to work for it themselves and do like normal people do and, and build their own, um, um, stadium on their own, right? Which is mostly usually done like sort of in an area that's outside of the city, right? But um, anyways, that's just my opinion. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to, so I've been playing the um, acoustic guitar here for a little while and um, I, I still consider myself um, a bit of a beginner. Um, I took, um, like in my community, the, um, the place they offered um, three different courses. So kind of like a beginner's course and then an intermediate course and then in it, like an advanced course and I, I took all three and so now I'm kind of on my own doing my own thing and uh, so every once in a while on these videos um, I just try to share a little bit and um, kind of like at one point I think that once I build things up and up then um, I'll hopefully be able to you know show you guys something that's just a little more impressive but every once in a while i just like to share just little tidbits right um because i think it's kind of neat to see i mean who doesn't like listening to acoustic guitars it's a beautiful sound right and um you know some people may not know certain 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 keys right um um if you're even a, a less of a begin, beginner than me. So right now, um, I'm going to be showing you, um, I'm gonna put this here. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to play we're gonna play the um, A suspended two, right? Okay, it's called the A, A suspended two, okay? So this is um, a, be a beginner's key, and it's one of the first um, ones that you learn um, when you're learning to play the, the acoustic guitar. But I just, I just wanted to, just to share this a little bit. So here, and um, I'm definitely rusty with this stuff, so. Okay. Try to get a better angle here. Makes no sense if you guys can't see it, see anything, right? 
And I'm definitely not a professional technical video person either, so let's see here. The lighting might be a little too bright. Okay, I think this will be it. This will do for now. Okay, so like I said, this is the Ace Spended 2, a very beginner's but very essential, um, essential key, right? So this is done on the second fret, right? So for beginners, frets, that's a, this is the first fret. That's the second fret, third fret, and so forth, right? So, um, okay, so for the A suspended two, we use two fingers. We use the index finger, the index finger, and then the middle finger, right? The index, the index finger, and then the middle finger, okay? Um, I'm a little rusty with the, the naming of all of those, although I do know the placements. So this one here, The index finger goes in this ring, which is the third third from the top. And then the middle finger goes right underneath, which is the fourth from the top, right? So for this, for the A suspended two, um, they say that it's best to try to, it's best to try to avoid the top string. You can you can strum all of the strings. It's still you can still you can still do it by strumming all of the strings. But they say that it's a better sound or it's better to do it if you can avoid the top string. All right. So let's see this. How this is. So there's another tip that says um, you want to try to bring your, your your fingers towards, if I remember right, um, not the top, but mo not the top, but more towards the bottom, because if you if you're the more that your fingers are towards the top. Um, you'll, you'll find you it'll be like a plucking sound right. And so for a more fluid sound, it's more towards the opposite side of the top, which I just did. So maybe that'll improve things a little bit. Very nice. 
nice sound to this to this key, right? This is for the the note, if you want to call it that. Need to grab my tablet. Just one second. Just want to make sure the camera is back into the right spot. That's okay. It's funny because like, even if you're just doing what I did, which is just practice a very beginner's chord, um, you feel, you just feel a lot better after you do it, right? There's like a sense of satisfaction that you've actually like practiced it, even if it's just a little bit like that, right? So, um, Okay. Mm, this frappuccino is pretty good. I might need another one. Okay. So I'm trying to keep things interesting. Um, I wanted to um, just talk about um, some of my favorite YouTubers, right? Because this is basically a YouTube video on my YouTube channel. And so we're, we're part of a community, right? A YouTube community. We all have that in common, right? We all like watching YouTube videos that are, of course, um, created by people. And so um, it's good to be educated about, you know, other people's favorite YouTubers because you may not know about them and stuff. And why is it that people like watching those YouTube videos or subscribing to those particular YouTube people or, or whatever? So there's, there's so many, um, you know, for YouTube, there's just so many videos out there. There's so many YouTube creators, YouTube accounts and stuff. Um, these videos have to be under, have to be a certain amount of time. They can't go on too long. And so um, just like everything that I do, 
like even though sometimes some of my videos go on quite long, I try my best to um, categorize things, to break things down a little bit, right? Um, so with YouTube, like I said, because there's just so many different videos and, and stuff out there, um, I, I try to just break it down somehow. And so for this video, um, 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 I'm just going to be talking about, um, you know, people call them prank, people call them prank videos or people call them social experiment videos, that type of thing. Right. And so, um, I don't, I don't admit it. Like a lot of people do find, and you'll notice it too, that, um, that some of those, uh, the social experiment videos or the prank videos take the highest views, people may not like to admit it, are the, the ones where, um, you know, um, people are passing gas or like farting, right? Um, they just bring up the biggest laughter in everybody, right? And the, the biggest amount of views and, and you, it's, those are the, the funniest. So I just, I just wanted to, I just picked a few, um, plus a few other things too. Okay. So one of, one of my favorite ones for these types of videos is, um, um, the YouTube screen name is, is Jack Vale Films, Jack Vale Films. Um, the, the thing is about, um, all these types of videos is that, um, they all, all they all use, um, basically like a farting toy, right? And it's just like a, an apparatus, a, a small apparatus, uh, apparatus usually that sort of makes the farting noise and that they can hide and stuff like that. Um, Jack Vale, like, I mean, he makes a lot of like, he makes a lot of different types of videos. Like, um, the farting ones are only a small, well, probably a big part, but, um, but the thing is, is that he, he has his, he's, I think from what I understand is, is that the farting toy that he uses, he's the maker of it. Um, his, his, his farting videos are, are, are hilarious, but the thing is, is that, um, his farting toy is much, is much quieter than the rest of them that I'll talk about in a few seconds, right? So that's one downside about his, um, his, his about the toy that he uses. It's a, it's a lot less loud, right? And so you don't really get that much reaction compared to the other ones, although he still does do, gets good reactions. Um, um, I just want to talk about it. Um, the ones where he, he collaborates, he has a colleague, um, that's in, that's in on the, the prank too. Right. And, um, so they do the, 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 the third thing in, in an elevator, um, with people in it, those are hilarious. Right. And you have like people just who can't stop. Well, they're, they're laughing, but they're trying to, because you're in an enclosed public space, they're trying to hide their laughter. And so you, you see women kind of like covering their mouth because they don't want to show their, 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 um, uh, their laughing and stuff like that. Um, the, the other ones that I found too are, um, the ones where, um, he'll go into like a Walmart or something and like, he'll like, he'll raise his leg kind of like a dog does when they're like peeing, but, but like, it just like makes it very obvious that someone's farting, right? Or um, wants to do it on purpose. So the leg raise for, I still remember there was one where um, he kept doing the leg raise fart on this lady and then she got mad and then she went to a manager and then he caught it all out of film and, and then she's like, um, yeah, yeah, it's him. He's like, and then she was mimicking like how he was raising his leg and farting. He's like, He's like, she's like, oh yeah, he's farting and raising his leg like this and, and, and stuff like that. Um, there's another, there's another funniest, funny one. I just also want to mention where, um, he's in a target and, um, there's this, um, there's a couple 
and um, it's like an older couple, like not too, too old, but they're older, like, I don't know, maybe in their 60s, maybe. And um, like, I think like um, both of them are like, have disabilities, like they're in like um, the target, they were on the motorized scooters type thing, right? And um, so Jack Vale, he he kind of farts on um, the guy's wife, and then the husband um, saw it, and then he got mad, and then he yelled, and then he like punched Jack Vale a few times, right? <laughs> and then uh, there was all commotion, and then the management came out, and then I guess um, the police were called, and I guess in the end. Um, Jack Vale updated it and said that the Target found out about his his videos and then they, they banned him from Target. Um, I also wanted to mention another funny one from Jack Vale, and it's the um, it's the uh, the citizens arrest what the citizens arrest video. I found this one really funny because um, um, with this one um, he's collaborating. With another YouTuber, um, I won't mention his name now. I'll bring him up in another video. He's one. He's also one of my favorites. I haven't seen him on YouTube in a while, and I'll talk about that maybe um, in another video. And um, so they're they're going around. I'm pretty sure in a Walmart, and they're they're making like citizens arrest and like for for no reason at all, right? people who are just not doing anything at all. And so there's this, they do a citizen's arrest and there's like this um, um, young guy, just a young guy, he, he looked maybe like like 18 and a girl, I don't know if it was probably his sister and she looked around 18 too. And so they mostly, they were together but they mostly focused on the guy. And so like, like and then and then he goes like, we're making, he, he, Jack Vale and, his, and, his, and the other YouTuber go like, we're, we're making the citizens arrest on you. And, um, and so the guy's like, at first, do you work here? And then he's like, and then, and then, and then like, he's like, oh yeah, we're, we're doing the citizens arrest. And then Jack Vale's like, okay, like spread your legs and put your arms here and stuff like that. And, and the, his, his sister was, was, cooperating in the same way. It was hilarious, right? Uh, moving on. Um, I wanted to, um, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, one, another one of my favorites for this type of, um, this, for this type of category is, um, yeah, so like I said, um, Jack Vale, fi Jack Vale films, Jack Vale films, one of my favorites, right? So another one of my favorites is Sons of Arkham, Sons of Arkham, Sons of Arkham, right? So he does a lot of different types of videos, but for this video, I'm just going to focus on one type um, or so. Um, the firing toy that he uses actually is very, very loud and it's very long. So you get a lot more reaction than like Jack Dale's one, right? Um, there's a funny one that I... All that I wanted to talk about, like he's in like this one here. He's he's very creative, right? Um, like the son of Arkham guy, he's very creative and very smart. And then he this one here, like he goes into like a um, um, a university library, and he he's he's dressed up as a Harry Potter um, character. Like I'm not. A Harry Potter fan at all. I really know nothing. So I had to Google all of this and make sense of it. And so um, he's like, he, he he's walk, you know, walking around the, the university library and he's like um, saying something like, um, like these certain words, right? Like, and I found out that he, that, like the word that he's saying is his own name, right? And so like I had to Google it and like, it's it's a Harry Potter character who's like a little like mentally disabled and he can only say like a very limited an amount of words maybe the only words that he can say is his, is his own name right and so that's why he picked that 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 character 
And so he'd, he'd, walk, so he'd walk around the library and he'd say that name and people would be like, what, what are you talking about? Because they don't really know that Harry Potter character, most people. And then like he, he'd say that name and then, and then the people in the library were like, what are you talking Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then he, and then the son of Arkham guy, he'd walk, walk away and, 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 and again, like lay that loud fart and, <laughs> and walk away. And it was, and then the people in the library, most of them would laugh their head off and very, very funny. Um, yeah, there's this other one too, where, um, he lives like, I guess in, in the San Diego, California, San Diego, California area, which is. So there's a lot of beaches there and um there was this, uh, this one more recently where um he's like walking through the beach not really like at at the actual beach but more kind of like in sort of like a roadway that's outside of the beach like a public roadway and so um he's like um and, th and so there's like this family just sitting there like parents and like brothers and sisters and like just little kids and so he, he walked by that and um and there was a little girl and like so he laid out this the, his, the loud fart like i said it's just a farting toy and the little girl like laughed so hard and they they focused on her i, I never saw a little girl laugh that that much right and so hard it was just funny and there was this other one um where um again he's very creative right so he's at the, uh, he's at a grocery store. This one's at a grocery store. And um, like there's this man, there's this man with his two daughters, right? And his two daughters are like just teenagers. I would say they look maybe like 13. And um, so he's with his daughters, I, I, I think. And so he, he, he walks up to um, his cart because he's got st stuff in his cart. It's a grocery store, right? And so, um, I think it's like a liquor bottle, a bottle of liquor of some sort. And then like he, he, he pulls up the, the bottle and puts it like right on his butt, right on his butt and then lays out a big fart right on it. And, then, and, and, and like his two daughters are, are watching the whole thing, right? <laughs> like, like, I mean, it's funny because his daughter saw it, but they didn't like really react, which was kind of strange. But then like the father was just so like angry. And then, um, and then the guy, the son of Arkham guy goes like, oh, well, you don't need, you don't need lime anymore. Right. And then I guess like he, he, he went to a manager to complain and then, uh, and then like the manager comes up and then like as they're walking away, like in front of the manager too, he lays out another like big um, toy fart and oh, it's just really funny, right? Um, here, um, um, I just wanted to make sure here. to look this up a little bit yeah I'm just trying to be a little more specific and I don't want to generalize too much. I can, um, yeah. Because um, another one of my favorites is here, but I'm just trying to find one here. Yeah, another one of my favorites in that category. Um, his YouTube screen name is is T4 
um, here is, um, let me check here, just one second. Yeah, yeah. TN4P, 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 and his, his videos are, are good, where again, the, 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 the fire toy that he uses is, is, is again, it's, it's similarly like very loud and long. And um, um, I just wanted to just pick one here where um, it's, fun, it's funny because he's in a park doing it. And um, he's in a public, it's a, it's a public park. And I guess someone like actually ca called the police on him. Um, it's, it's, it's funny because most of the time um, when the police are called, um, they're, the creators are sort of pre protected because it's like a freedom of creation or whatever law. But the one that I, this one here, if I remember it right, when I watch it, it's been a while. Um, the cop was sort of a, kind of a dick where he, if I remember right, he goes um, like, yeah, like I hear you saying that you have freedom of um, creation or whatever, but there's also a law called, um, it's not mischief, but the other one is called, um, there's another law where it's, um, uh, it's not mischief, but um, this, yeah, dis disorderly conduct, right? So he said, he goes to the guy, he goes, um, yeah, like I, I could also charge you with disorderly conduct, which is, which is a criminal code, right? And so like, you have to be careful because I think if I, I don't know like, how the laws work there, but like, if it's like a criminal code, then you could not only be fined, but get a criminal record too, right? And go to jail and stuff. So that's where you, you sort of have to be careful. Um, I'm looking for one more that I just wanted to maybe mentioned, mentioned. Um, I just see one right here where it's called um, um, Homeless Man Eats Dog Food Social Experiment, right? And I think I watched that a long time ago, but um, like we're, 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 we're not trying to be cruel or anything. We're just, we just think these, these things are funny, right? Like I don't, I just want to just be clear that like we, we're not really trying to be like mean to, to any homeless person. It just, we just think it's funny. But if, if I remember it right, what happened with that video is um, like, they, I think they offered like um, dog food <laughs> to a homeless person and they were seeing like if, if, if the homeless person would actually eat it, right? And I'm quite sure like that they let, they, they let the homeless person know that it was dog food. Like they weren't trying to trick him, right? And by not knowing the whole thing was the whole point it's a show so it's, it's titled social experiment so the whole thing is like to see whether a homeless person will purposely eat dog like dog food and know that they're eating dog food and like if i if i remember right like he, he actually did eat it so it's just, it's just it's just kind of like i don't know like um like i said it's it's just it's just all fun right but um and there's a lot of other like funny videos too um, um, and the, the last one that I just wanted to mention for today was, let me see, get it out here. So like I said, um, um, TN4P, TN4P, um, his videos are really, are great too, right? And I just wanted to share within the, our YouTube community so we can share things amongst us because we're all sort of in the same boat, right? We all have this in common. Um, I'm just going to pick. Okay, so the last one that I'm going to talk about is um, um, 
his YouTube screen name is All for Pranks. All for Pranks. His videos are good too. Um, he only has like um, one, like seventeen hundred subscribers. So like, I mean, for someone who's just starting out, maybe seventeen hundred sounds a lot. But like, um, the the people that I talk mentioned um, previous to him, like they have. Like their numbers are in the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, right? Um, I've talked and maybe millions, like when I'm talking about like um, millions, like um, Nelk or like Jack Dale Films, I think he's got like a few million too, right? So like, I'm not sure. I don't really, I've only been like watching his videos for a little while. I suspect it's probably his subscriber list is on the lower side, probably because he's hasn't been um, posting these videos that long. I'm just that's just my a quick assumption, right? Um, so like, um, just trying to keep this condensed here. Um, just mention maybe one or two. Um, let me see here. Yeah, so, um, yeah, um, he does, he does a lot of the, um, the, um, farting toy, if you will, farting toy pranks too. And um, so his firing toy um, is, 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 is also um, one of the like loud long ones too. And so like he gets a lot of reactions too, right? And um, like I think like the best ones are in places that are like in Walmart because they're more enclosed spaces too. And so it's more of a kind of con 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 controlled environment. But um, like the, the ones like the um the fart videos that he does in places like walmart um his are are um are pretty um are pretty funny right um, i'm just seeing one here where um he did one of those videos and, and someone called the police right so um another one too where they told him to leave and stuff um but um it's funny because like He's like an older guy and he's very he's a very nice guy too right so it's kind of nice to watch someone who's a little different too rather than you know the young punk guy who just does all of those vi videos that are just very kind of arrogant based um okay so i don't want this video to go on too long um so i just want to um say um thanks for watching this youtube video and thank you for watching um, all of my youtube videos and so make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel right or click on that subscribe button um that's very important so that you know you'll know like whenever i um, post a new video you can interact with me and that type of thing um because it's really all for me it's all about like how many subscribers that i have right that's how I measure everything. And so like, if I, if that number is just too low, like there's no point in me in, in really continuing in, in making like new ones, right? It's, there's, there's, there's no, pur there's no pur purpose to it, right? But if I see my subscriber number growing at a healthy rate, you know, that's telling me that people are interested in, and so it'll motivate me to post more because these videos, believe it or not, are a lot, a, a lot of work and they're very time consuming, right? Um, so like I said, um, share the video, get your friends and family to subscribe. 
and uh, um, we can help this channel um, grow. You can see uh, more of my videos because I have a lot of great ideas um, in mind that I still want to do. I have all these like great things that I want to try and and experiment with and you know and, and try, but I just need like evidence so that people are interested in, right? Or else um, it seems like all of my ideas may just be wasted. All right, um, I think that's all for now. Peace out.